Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitaCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is I know that she will regret this. Sometimes you have something very nice going on with a woman, right? You might be married for a long period of time, you have a girlfriend who is great, and then she does something that you know is going to be a mistake for her on the long term. That eventually she's giving away something which seems to be solid in your eyes and um, that she doesn't seem to recognize anymore. And you know from within, you have the conviction, uh, you are 100% sure that within a month, two months, three months, a year, or even two years from now, she's going to regret this action, okay? So what do you do when you feel that? What I want to tell you is that you have probably two different mindsets or different uh, realities going on right now. The perception that you have from life, the perception that you have from your own perspective is a certain point of view. But, you know, from her own perspective, uh, she sees life from a totally different perspective. And yes, maybe what she's doing is going to be a mistake. You know, maybe in your eyes it is a mistake. For her, it might be just a life experience. Maybe for her, what she thinks is, I have to do that. Even if it's something that I might regret let later, I still have to go ahead and do it. Why? Because there is some form of drive in her that uh, forces her to go and take that step. Whatever it is, when uh, two persons don't agree on, on a certain direction, life direction, all you can do is respect that person's choice. Of course you can sit down, you know, you can say, look, we have been in a relationship for a long time and there is something I want to tell you about the steps that you are about to take, you know. Running away with this guy, eventually he will break up with you, uh, eventually uh, you are going to end up alone and you are going to come back and it's going to be too late. We are no longer go going to be married and uh, the children will have grown up, we will both be in very different places and the relationship will be over. You know, you can say things like that. You can warn her, you can tell her what you feel, but eventually if she listens to what you have to say and then still decides to go ahead, all you can do is step back, okay? Um, we are born as human beings with the right for self-determination. And this is one of the, our key freedoms as human beings, is to decide for ourselves what we think is the best for us. And very often people are, are you know, fighting over what is best. And the truth is that you have different realities. The reality that you have for yourself is a reality which might be different than what she has. And uh, if she decides to make certain choices that you can question and that you think are big mistakes, you know, maybe she decides to move to another country, do something which is a big drastic step, um, all you can do is warn her, yes, you can have a couple of discussions, you can even be patient and tell her that you are going to wait for her for a month or two months or three months even, if you are open for it, if you care for her enough to, uh, to take that step, that's another possibility as well. But at the end, all you can do is respect that person's choice. And uh, of course, this is as long as she's not putting anybody else's life in danger, okay? If she's taking a step which is going to be a big threat for your children, the children that you have together, of course, it is your right to step in and tell her, you know, put a boundary and tell her, I don't want my children to get engaged into that because I think it's uh, too dangerous for them. For instance, if she decides to go sailing around the world, you know, and take the kids uh, with her, uh, you know, maybe it's, it's a choice that you can question and if you decide to, uh, to fight this, yes, you have the rights as, as the father to, to say something about it and question it. Now, if it's something that concerns her life, her, uh, her own choices, and that she's the only one who gets involved into, into that choice, then eventually, again, all you can do is step back and, and respect. And again, when you are you know, fighting the battle and eventually arguing with her about her choices, yes, you can have a few discussions. You don't have to attack her. You can simply say things like, look, I know that um, uh, I respect the choice that you are making, but I want to tell you something, and it's important that you listen to me. So it won't take long. Give me simply 50 minutes, half an hour, and I'm, I have a few things to, to tell you. I have to get this out of my chest. Once I'm done, you won't hear me saying these things again. I will respect your choice, but you need to listen to me, okay? That's something that you can say, and uh, you can ask her 
without attacking her, without challenging her, without demanding anything from her. You can ask her, please listen to me, 15 minutes, half an hour, that's all it will take. Okay? You can do that a couple of times, three times, how many times it takes, how many times you need, but eventually you will notice that um, opposing her choice creates conflict. So you need to step back and eventually respect whatever her choice is. Okay? Remember that word? That's the key word. It's respect. Take care and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.